We are here today at our agro-processing facility, which is there put in place to continue and to take our farmers' initiatives and our farmers' goals to the next level. We want to make our farmers part of the national conversation. Brazil Village Farmers Group is going to be the link between the national community of Trinidad and Tobago and Brazil community of farmers. And we have been the recipient of one of the EPIC grants for the purpose of developing an agro-processing facility, which is right behind me, as you can see. An agro-processing facility and a packaging house. We add value by creating packaging, bringing the produce to the national standard, the acceptable standards. We add value by working with the farmers all the way from the field to the facility, to the shelves, to the tables. Now that we have reached this stage and we have actually in the process of launching, we are going to now engage our farmers now. And it was all made possible with Digicel Foundation and Shell Trinidad and Tobago. And we are well on the way to going to that next level. The work at the facility does not start at the physical facility itself. We visit farmers in our fields to ensure that their quality of goods and produce are of the standards that are required to be able to be accepted by the market out there. They bring their produce where it is weighed, it is measured, it is counted, and once it is accepted, after inspection, it is then passed on to the holding bay, that is where it's stored. Produce that comes to this facility is as a result of an order made. So nothing really stays here more than 24 to 48 hours. Then it goes on to the pre-wash area where all dirt and foreign debris is washed away from the produce before it is then passed on to the sanitizing area where we sterilize it from all harmful bacteria, all pathogens, before it actually enters our packaging house. Our packaging house then takes that, processes it, chops it, cuts it, packages it. We ensure that it is labeled and then it is stored and then it goes to the client or back to the farmer that would have brought it who is engaging the client on his or her own. Farmers have options to use the facilities in different ways. One, you can engage the facility in the same manner that you are engaging your client or potential client on your own and you come to the facility to have your produce meet the standard and the requirement of your client. And then the facility will put it through its rigorous process, hand it back to you, and now you can take it to your client. That is done at a very minimal cost just to ensure that the facility is maintained. Secondly, the facility in itself now has a vigorous marketing team in place where we now at the facility have a market. We have large clients, we have small clients, medium clients. So now we ask the farmers to produce produce to actually supply the demands of the client and it is only when there's a client with a particular request we engage our farmers and have them plant with a very specific objective and thirdly you can use the facility in that you can come to the facility with your produce you can chop it you can bag it you can seal it you can do whatever you want with it and you pay a fee to use the facility for the day for a few hours and you take away your produce when you are leaving. After working with Digicel Foundation and Shell Trinidad and Tobago to have this facility in place, I am really excited together with all my colleagues that we are actually up and running. We are actually doing this. It is actually being done. It is a moment of nostalgia, pure nostalgia. And we are looking forward now to actually getting out there. We are looking forward to changing and contributing to the economy of our community. We are looking forward to seeing the livelihoods. We are looking forward to seeing farmers' standard of living increased. Farmers actually see farming as a viable option. They don't have to do it as a part-time job. They can actually see that from morning to evening i stay in my fields and i will see the rewards of it so it is really an exciting day in brazil village for the community members of brazil village now that this facility is up and running farming is alive in brazil village